Hey guys, this is Joey and welcome back to another video. This time I'm going to be focusing on graphics cards like this one, which is a GTX 645. And this one, which has a num, well, has a name and number, but huh, this one has a story. This big boy has a story. I bought this graphics card about, I don't know, two years ago? You know, PCI Express. There's the stuff. Yeah, advertises a GTX 960, I believe. And as you can tell, this is not actually my correction. NVIDIA GTX 980, yeah, 960. <laughs> I can't read. It was a 4 gig card, GDDR5. This is not. And you want to know how I found that out? Well, if you take your graphics card. Well, here's the first thing. Look at the I.O. GTX 960 do not have VGA. Basically, take your graphics card. The four screws. Unscrew them. So that's what I'm going to do right here. Basically, this will remove the well, the motherboard that's on the graphics card. Well, it will remove the heatsink from the graphics card. And then you have this cable. I'll just leave that attached. Basically, there's a CPU die right there. And I don't know if you guys can see that perfectly. You might not be able to. Oh, that that's nice. I just try to pull out a flashlight. Flashlight don't work. Well, let me try and put more light in here then. Right here. There we go. That's a little better. It is an NVIDIA uh, chipset. There, if you can make that out. The number on the bottom is what you want, I think. Yeah, that number. Basically, when you look that number up, what it's going to tell you is everything about that chipset. So yeah, this chipset is a fake. It's not an actual CPU whatsoever. It's actually a GTS. Not GTX. A... Well, GTS 450. So basically, I got scammed on this. They got 60 bucks off of a graphics card that's worth like 10. I don't know why you don't just sell the graphics card as is. Not make it a lie and try to get more money from it. Just sell it as it is. But I didn't know about that stuff back then. So it did happen. Man, this poor graphics card. It's been through a lot. Cheated, haggled, everything. Let me just stick this back in. There we go. Perfect. Now let's talk about this one. This one is an actual graphics card. This is a GTX 645. Yes, this is a true one. I actually have taken the heatsink off and looked into this. I'm surprised. Because who would want to try and fix, like, pull this off?
Oh, almost forgot. There's a little screw right there. Again, take that off. There's a CPU die. Basically, I reapplied thermal paste because I do sometimes put this in certain systems if they don't have like a display port or VGA or DVI or even onboard graphics. At least this graphics card would give something to display. May not be like top line perfect graphics card, but at least it will give you graphics. And that's what I think some people do with old graphics cards. They'll take like good ones out of like systems that just need them just to get a display and they'll put them in gaming ones like if they have a GTX 1050 or 1080 and a computer that just needs the graphics card for graphics that's what they'll do sometimes but I don't know so yeah there's basically two graphics cards the only two that I have now I do have actually two of these and I did have uh, HD 5450, which I sold that in a different system just so that system had, I think it was an HDMI and a VG, no, I think it was HDMI and DVI, just so that system had that. So yeah, basically, graphics card, graphics card, they're still good. But not good for this day and age. So yeah. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed this commentary and want to see more just like it. Then make sure to subscribe to be notified of future videos. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Thank you guys for joining me. See you later and goodbye.